The Department of Environmental Health continues sensitization efforts on the dangers posed by vectors to a person's health and quality of life. The vector control team has been walking the talk, actively identifying and destroying potential vector breeding sites, thus keeping the public safe and healthy. Hamadi Mark tells us more. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is continuing its awareness drive on the dangers posed by vectors to a person's health and quality of life. The push to disseminate this pertinent information began during Vector Awareness Week, which coincided with the commencement of the rainy season. The Department of Environmental Health is undertaking vector management in the home and community. Glenda Etienne Sipal is an environmental health officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness. How do we do it? With an integrated vector management strategy, which takes a team of environmental health officers, vector control inspectors, field technicians, and other stakeholders, but most importantly, you. Our inspectors are on the front lines in the battle to curb the vector population, from commercial properties and open lots to residential neighborhoods. One vector of concern to the Ministry of Health and Wellness is the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which spreads dengue fever, chikungunya, and the Zika virus. One female mosquito can produce about 300 eggs in its lifetime. For this reason, the environmental health team identifies and destroys all potential vector breeding sites. Our mosquito management approach involves tackling mosquitoes at different stages of the life cycle. We collect mosquito egg and larval samples for study, like testing to determine if mosquitoes are developing resistance to the chemicals that we use. We treat larvae infested standing water with a naturally occurring microorganism found in soil as a larvicide and use aerosol mist as part of our fogging operations to target the adult stage of the mosquito, which is always the last resort. Other vectors, such as rats, are also targeted by the Department of Environmental Health. A female rat can produce 56 offspring in her lifetime. Rats can also spread leptospirosis. The Environmental Health Officer says it is important to know the species of rats that may be occupying a person's home in order to control this vector. This can be determined through their characteristics and behaviors. Non-chemical approaches like reducing or eliminating food, water and shelter can rid your homes from rats and mice. Of course, our team cannot be everywhere at once and mosquitoes will breed and emerge and go looking for a blood meal. Rats will come in search of food and hence spread diseases along the way. We depend on you, the public, to prevent mosquitoes from breeding in your yard. Simple improvements to your home can play a substantial role to reduce vectors such as screening windows and doors, proper garbage disposal techniques, and rat proofing your home. The Department of Environmental Health encourages members of the public to play an active role in reducing vector breeding sites by identifying and removing standing water in and around the home. This can also be done by using empty containers for kitchen or backyard gardening and a proper disposal of decomposing waste, which can also be used for composting as an alternative to fertilizer. From the Government Information Service, I'm Hermady Mark reporting.